Hello again. So, in this video, we will see how to install, create, and use a virtual environment. And the first question that you may ask is, uh, why do I need a virtual environment in the first place? And the answer is very, very simple. Imagine that you want to test a package and you don't want to mess up your, your Python installation. Uh, for that, you can create a virtual environment and then install the package in that environment and uh, do your tests and finally um, delete the environment, uh, the virtual environment, without messing up with your Python installation. Um, other scenario can be when you when we have um, uh, packages that can collide with each other is very useful to create multiple. Um, virtual environments and uh, and uh, install those packages in each uh, environment and do whatever uh, we want. Um, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing that uh, we need to do is install the virtual environment. Um, by the way, by the way, I am using Visual Studio Code. Okay, my version my version is 1.52. Okay. And let me open a new terminal, a new PowerShell terminal, and let me show you my Python version that is 3.8.6. Okay, let me clear. And let's go to the first step. We need to install, so we do pip install virtual env. Okay, virtual env, hit enter is doing the magic and is ready to go. So let me clear these. Okay. We just installed virtual environment. Now we want to create a virtual environment. So for that we we do Python minus M because is a module uh, V E N V for virtual environment and then we do we we provide a path okay so in my case is c slash test and let's say that i want um, a virtual environment for report lab so i say virt underscore report lab okay is the name of the folder it enter it creates here a folder is not finished yet we have here some some stuff and we wait, we wait, is creating here files and let's wait is almost there I guess, I guess let's see and is ready, okay, it created those files okay, we installed virtual environment, we created a virtual environment and the next step is activate the virtual environment. To activate the virtual environment we need to execute this file activate.ps1 okay let me close these okay let me close these oh, a disaster so we want to run activate.ps1 because we are in PowerShell, okay? So to do that we do c dot slash test and we want to select this folder virt underscore virt underscore report lab and then we want to select the scripts folder so scripts and then we want to execute the activate dot ps1 so activate dot not bad dot ps1 by the way if you are running on a cmd window you use the activate dot bat okay is not the ps1 i use the ps1 because i am using powershell windows 10 in pow uh, with powershell okay it enter and now we have this green okay it means that we are in these virtual environments, okay? Um, for example, let me show you pip list of these virtual environments and we have just pip and setup tools, okay? Let me clear and let me pip install report lab. We have to wait now for a while because it will do its magic and is almost there. I guess. 
and is there okay let me clear and be pleased and in this virtual environment we have uh, report lab installed and pillow because report lab uses pillow okay um, so if we activate the virtual environment we can deactivate the virtual environment to to exit to quit the virtual environment so deactivate okay hit enter and now we are um, we just quit this virtual environment let me show you peep oops peep list okay and in our Python installation, the real installation, we don't have here report lab. We just have here the virtual environment. Okay, uh, let's redo the creation of a virtual environment. Okay, so to create a virtual environment, Py or Python, in my case, Py is an alias for Python, Py minus M V M V. Okay, for virtual environment and then we give the path c in my case c tests and let's say is a virtual environment for django the name don't have to be like this okay you don't have to call it virt and django i'm calling in this way so i know what this is for okay um let me enter it enter okay and it creates here the folder okay is doing here some stuff and we wait okay we wait is creating the files and the next step will be activate the environment is activate the environment okay next step activate the environment so we I can I can do for example virt because we are already in the folder test okay virt and select the folder scripts okay and we want to execute the activate dot ps1 so our Django uh, virtual environment is now uh, active okay let's pip install Django Okay, and this guy, <coughs> sorry, this guy will take a while, and while he's doing the magic, let me show you, in the virtual environment, okay, in the folder of our virtual environment, we have here the lib, and inside the lib, we have here the side packages, if you need to so to see the, the code of, um, of your packages, you can go here and see in the code, okay, if you need to read the the source codes of the packages um, so let's wait let's wait because it is installing this guy takes a while and is already done okay so if we do a clear and we do a pip list we will see that we have Django here okay we have here Django we don't have here report lab um, and that's it of course to deactivate we just write deactivate that is quit the uh, environment uh, by the way if you want to delete a, uh, an environment you just can do remove um, and uh, the folder okay like this it will ask us for for that and we say yeah it's okay and it will delete so the folder was deleted but also we can go here in the in the folder okay and we can go here and do a normal delete okay just delete like this and it will delete the virtual environment and let me show you it's taking a while because it's a big one um, if I do pip list, okay, in the in my Python installation, it, it will show me that I don't have Django and I don't have Report Lab, okay, installed because those were installed in those were installed in the virtual environment, okay. So for for these is for this video um, is enough. Um, 
I hope that you learned something with these and um, I want to ask you to give a like, to share with your friends, to uh, leave a comment if you want um, and that's it, okay? Hope you like this and bye!